One of the most widely respected and successful CEOs in recent history, uh, Indra Nuyi, who was the CEO of PepsiCo. And really, when she came into that organization, they were in disarray. And PepsiCo had really, really fallen off relative to its peers, and, and in many instances, namely Coca-Cola that we're talking about here. And what she did was inject empathy into that organization and a real personal touch. She did a lot from a business strategy standpoint of introducing new product lines. But in many ways, what she's remembered for, she was revered by the employees at PepsiCo. And it's because of the quote that you can see on the screen. And I, I love it so much that I'll, I'll indulge myself here to read it. You need to be able to look at that person and say, I value you as a person. I know that you have a life beyond PepsiCo and I'm going to respect you for that entire life and not just treat you as employee number, uh, fill in the blank there, right? 4,567. She was able to connect as a leader, not just with the folks on the senior level, but all across the board at that organization and showed that she valued them. She led first with empathy. She took the time to listen to the people that she led, and it really made all the difference in terms of business success, but also in dramatically turning around the culture of that organization. Something that I always like to bake in, and this could just be something that you even take into your own day, or maybe in team meetings that you might have for your own organization. We talked quite a bit just, just now about having a positive outlook and maintaining motivation uh, for the long haul, not just on the day-to-day. So for reflection, for your own reflection, even after, even after today, is this something that you maintain in the face of present challenges?